Linux is a hard topic to write about. There are a lot of distributions, you need to invest some time into learning and accepting the way they work, get yourself comfortable with a bunch of new terminology and become part of the community which is full of tech-savvy people. And that's why I'm getting excited every time Linux squeezes into headlines and articles of mainstream media, because it usually means that I'm going to read something bizarre and hilarious. A lot of tech writers and journalists are genuinely curious about Linux. Some of them are skeptical, some carry a lot of empathy. But when I was scrolling through countless Steam Deck reviews in 2022 and 23, I've noticed something different. I've noticed hate, I've noticed disdain, and today we're gonna talk about the way the media sometimes treat Linux. I want to take a closer look at the common attitude and to remind ourselves so that we cannot control our reputation. Of course, when it comes to Steam Deck, the most successful handheld PC on the market, it is safe to expect a lot of positive reviews. Most writers and reviewers did their job in good faith, but there are few malicious agents who use Linux as a rage bait. As any product review, press coverage of Steam Deck contains plenty of value judgments. Writers tend to use emotional language to describe their own experience and keep people thrilled, even if their claims have no real backup. There is no shortage of negatively charged words, like intimidating, complicated, finicky and etc. In some extreme cases, you could find statements like Linux can be a pain. To me, it looks like those comments came from people who don't much like Linux at all, maybe they are deafened by their bias or blinded by their loyalty to some other brand. The same Steam Deck review that reveals painful reality of daily driving Linux on a gaming device provides us with no description of painful problems that has been, or may be, encountered on Linux. And don't forget that we are talking about SteamOS 3.5, the most user-friendly Linux distro. With a SteamOS, most users will never have to worry about anything that is related to Linux side of things at all. This problem is just non-existent. You don't need to get your hands dirty to set up drivers. You don't need to access Shell to get a crucial firmware update. Everything is designed to be as simple as it should be. To be honest, Steam Deck is literally the best thing that happened to the gaming audience perception of Linux. The fact that this tiny little beast is capable of running AAA titles and has quality of life features like suspend and quick resume on the go is mind-blowing. It's very well designed, it's affordable and it's powered by Linux. But you can find both Steam Deck and Steam Deck only reviews with no mentions of Linux or SteamOS. Some writers were just trying to avoid it at any cost, while others were busy making fun of Linux by associating any inconveniences or moments of discomfort with operating system that they were not used to. I don't know, like Steam Deck Review is the best possible opportunity to inform your audience about the shift that is happening in the realm of PC gaming, the ongoing rise of gaming on Linux. And to explain what sort of magic is involved to get Windows games up and running on Linux. By the way, what exactly is Linux? I don't know, the only thing I know is that it would take me some time to get used to it if I have never used it before. Alright, makes sense to me. Of course, there are plenty of great articles and decent reviews with neutral or even positive attitude towards Linux. But I'm not here to mug those writers and journalists for choosing wrong set of technical terms. The fact that they misinterpreted or misunderstood some things about Linux should be seen as a reminder to all of us. I truly believe that we can learn a valuable lesson from that negative media coverage. We should remind ourselves that our reputation is not within our control. There will always be people who will treat technology as something that is available to anyone, who will try to use free software as a rage bait, who will twist our words and try their best to make a scarecrow out of our community. The only thing we can do is to fight hatred with the light. And the best thing I can do is to make even more well-produced content about Linux, highlighting its features, explaining philosophy of the free software movement and giving my honest opinion about anything closely related to it, including gaming. I would be happy to maintain the same level of quality while leveling up the quantity. Starting today, I would try my best to establish a weekly schedule. New videos will be uploaded twice a month on Thursdays and I'm also working on a pack of short-form content that I'm going to publish at least once per week on Tuesdays. If you want to support me, please consider joining channel membership with special perks. You can also make a single donation by hitting thanks button underneath the video.
I put a lot of effort into making visually appealing and aesthetically pleasing videos, and your generous support will help me to achieve even more. This was Relaxant Anarchist, and I have nothing left to say.